Welcome back to Hans House Plants. Today's video is all about my cottage garden. So this garden took months to do on and off and a lot of it is still getting finished but I would like to take you on a little bit of a tour and just show you what I've done so far and kind of show you all the time lapses um, that are going to take place in the rest of this video. So this gazebo frame was off of Facebook Marketplace. It was it was cheap and I got it and I don't know how long it'll last, but for right now, this is kind of how it's gonna be. This little bistro set here, that was actually in the house when we moved. So I got to repurpose this. And a lot of these bricks are off of Facebook. I got some tomato plants around and then a still be plants in the back. Those are those are bearing with the transplant that's happening, but a lot of 
honestly, probably 80% of these plants are from a lady from church. And so that was a huge blessing to be able to have enough plants to fill in here for now. Um, so this section is filled with a lot of different things and I'll probably get to a part two video to show you exact varieties and everything. But the whole purpose of the cottage garden that I'm designing is to have a mix of culinary, mix of kind of some cut flowers and medicinal, um, a whole wide variety of things. So I have some hydrangea bushes, some rose bushes, chives. Right now, actually, I have my dahlia, dinner plate dahlia is blooming. And I just cut a big orange flower, but this is a yellow one that's starting and it's so pretty. Um, this right here is some gooseneck that's in bloom, um, some gooseneck loose strife. Um, let's see what else is blooming. Um, this yellow climbing rose is blooming right now. Eventually I'm going to have this climb the whole arbor and it's just a little, just a little baby right now. Um, so far I've had great results with this Glandiforia rose and it's like this blush pink. It's so pretty. It's literally been blooming all summer long, like all, most of late spring and summer. Have some salvia still in bloom. Um, this greenhouse structure, eventually I'm going to start seeds in probably in the spring, but I just have the frame for right now and I'll have to put the cover on. Um, but I'm hoping it'll be a nice little space for me. And then in the back behind it, I have some ladies mantle and fall sunflower. And then I have like a little path just around the border of it so I can get through everything. And let's see what else. I have pastas in the back. And I won't get to all the variety names because we'll be here too long, but <laughs> these are some of the things that I have going so far. And I can't remember if I mentioned, but I have all of this greenery is artificial just for now, just because I'm nervous about the gazebo frame holding up. So that's just kind of a pretty alternative for right now. But yeah, some more hostas in the back. And so far this is not quite finished. I have still have a few things that I would like to do. Um, I have wanted to put a whole fence, like wooden fence behind and just have some more flowers on it. Um, these are still bees. I'm hoping since the transplant will just settle a little bit and a lot of stuff will come back next year even better. Um, these tomatoes, I have a couple peppered tomato plants going that got started late. So they'll, they'll just have a later harvest, but yeah, so this is it for now. And I will probably be doing the part two soon to just show you um, the finishing touches that I've done and then go through more of the variety of each plant that I have in here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, tune back into Hans House Plants for more of Hans Cottage Garden.